This feels weird to just like do it in front of everybody, so I'm gonna... Oh, what's over Oh! Wait, is this... Sword, well, that's the Sword Coast Couriers. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, okay. Uh, I am gonna use the disguise kits. Brain. Uh, latest. Hmm. I almost wonder if it, like, I should, nah, it's like, I should, should I be a drow? But they don't, they do stand out a bit. Um. I should be, like, a small unassuming <gasps> I want to be a half orc Omnium. what do I, oh, I can't see myself that's okay I should just take I should have my helmet maybe go away never a dull moment like be not visible at all I think is what I want just hide helmet in general yeah I want to be visible again I look cool Okay, disguise kit. Cause okay, the only reason I'm doing this is because uh, if they're scanning, they're going to trip on us, right? Like they're going to. It if they have some sort of spy network, some sort of like CIA, FBI, whatever, like citizen tracker thing, um, then Gortash will probably be alerted to us. Um, you wanna be a dual? <laughs> oh, it looks kind of. I think that's. I think it's randomized, but I think it kind of looks like him a little bit, just a just a tiny bit. <laughs> uh, Gail, this is fun. Um, oh, he got the face painting kit. Yikes! I thought I had. I was like, did I have five disguise kits? But I didn't. I just accidentally gave him a face painting kit. Send that to Gail. Directly. How long? Ooh, is this like limited? Until long rest. Okay, and we're polymorphed. Okay, okay, okay. This is weird. I'm ready. Nope. Ooh, who would he be? Ooh, we could make him a dra a male drow. Oh, a dragonborn. I actually definitely see Gael wanting to be a dragonborn. Oh yeah, baby. Now, now we're talking. Carlac. Would she be a try? I think she might actually pretend to be a, like a drow. It looks kind of like me. Oh, that's so funny, actually. <laughs> this is the new squad. Hmm. Alright, let's uh let's no, go. New mind. squad, new squad. This is fun. Moving ahead. She'd be like I think she would do it without telling me and then turn around and see like another female drow and be like or a femme drow and be like, What? <laughs> that would be funny. Okay. State your business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh do I have to re roll everything again though? Uh I was born and raised in Baldur's Gay. There's no other options. I, it appears like I have to either attack or deceive her that I am from Baldur's Gate. Boy, it's okay. I can roll again. I just gotta get in the dang damn city. Okay, the trickster gods are messing with me. Uh huh. Eyes open, okay, 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 body yeah, still. No, no, we're good. We Gucci. Do what she says. Stand still. Behind the watcher's gaze, a presence Gosh, dang awakens. It. You are seen. You are Well, known. hopefully not me. Hopefully. Your party's prior transgressions oh. are reflected in its stare. As witnessed by the cult's ever alert, that doesn't seem eyes. possible. It has heard the howls of slaughtered goblins. That doesn't seem possible. It has seen the deep shadows of Grimford Ow. and the stone floors left bloody. I am it disguised. Knows the cold walls of Moonrise Towers and the cultists who fell there. Uh -huh. The watcher speaks directly into your mind with a voice like poison. Man, honey. all this disguise was for nothing. For special treatment. Not simply an enemy of the people, but an enemy of the absolute. 
Come quietly, or die. Well, if you're speaking inside your my head. Uh, I don't want to fight our way in. Was there any way to like? I wonder if I could get in not through the front gate. That would have been something to think about. Um. There were, there are tunnels all underground, huh? I should not have come in through the front gate, but I thought the disguise spell would work, but apparently, because it's polymorph, not even disguise spell. It's polymorph, like I've actually changed, you know? Um, so that seems very unfair that it can somehow, like how does this do that? Only a god can do that. I guess the absolute kind of has divine powers, sort of. Uh, I thought it was just gonna like scan me to see if I I don't know like if, if there was a record of this face having any record and I, so I thought it was gonna be fine that this face didn't have a record but apparently it can read my thoughts I bet I'm like I don't want to fight it would be interesting to consent to be because I feel like fighting is just gonna get us in way more trouble but if I have to find all my stuff again after being arrested, that's gonna this is that's what's holding me up is I don't wanna have to find all my stuff. <laughs> I don't wanna like go find everything that I have. Usually it's in a chest somewhere. And sometimes being arrested is like the fastest way to get to where you need to be, you know? <laughs> and starting a fight here could get innocent civilians caught up. As a paladin, this would be, even an Oathbreaker paladin, this would be what I would think of, right? Oh. Or am I re like a readying myself for a fight as in a fight won't happen? I was hoping I could maybe control it. I'm interested. Let's consent to Your be arrested. Your peaceful surrender has been noted. You will be transferred to Worms Rock Prison where you will await further sentencing. I'm interested to see, and I think his dad is there. I think Will's dad is there. Are what we... are you doing? We cannot defeat the brain without that stone. What stone? New nomad? What? I got inspired by being arrested? Deafening silence. Did Wint be speak? Excuse me? Can I, I could turn it off if I wanted to. Apparently the disguise is useless also, so I'm like, mm. And we got put all in the same cell with all our stuff, except nope, I don't have my weapons, but I do have my armor. Okay, wait, what was it? No. What are we so excited about? New Nomad. Let yourself be- really? I mean, what? I, there's no other option. And what did he mean? Oh, we can't do it without the stone. Is the dilly wop here? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Access to Worms Rock. Well, okay. I did need to get here, apparently. Is his dad... I don't know what I'm gonna say, I guess. I, have, I didn't even do it. I like totally bypassed Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Oh boy. I kind of want to stay disguised for an unusual skull. Were you the one talking? Yeah, you were. How, Malapert? Malapert! Must thou stare at so? Examine the skull. We're separated, but I can still close enough apparently to get Gale's guidance. The enchantment is clearly the work of an advanced caster. The body may have wasted away, but the mind that inhabited it is imprinted on the skull. Gale! Gale, this feels like something you should know about. A talking skull, I must be losing my mind. Nay, thy mind hath not betrayed thee. I am as thou perceivest. I call myself Marvin. Thou mayst do the same. 
Your teeth are rough. Nay, ineluctable. Ineluctable. It's inevitable to be confined in such immuring. Oh water. my gosh, the worst. Thou wishest to escape Wish the it. confines of this prison, <laughs> doth thou not? I can hopest thee. Hopest. The cost of two. Hopest. Answer me true, and I shall teleport Ooh. thee to safety. Answer me false, and I shall teleport thee near the gods. <gasps> Ew, okay, let's see. Let's talk like a drunk poet. If you wish to converse, you need to speak plainly. Please. Woo, baby! <laughs> the, the dice gods are with me this day. <sighs> Common is just so very... <laughs> Common. Yeah, well, as in Bucko. Very well. To rephrase, I will teleport you away for the cost of two riddles. Yeah, I got Answer that. Answer them right, and uh -huh, I send yeah. you to safety. Answer them wrong, and I send you to the guards. I was hoping that would just help me get easier riddles if I did that. I guess maybe it will. Maybe he will be more elucidatory. That's also not a word. Elucidating? He'll be more elucidating, potentially, in this form. Go on, ask your riddles. Go on, keep your secrets. Um, yeah, who put you up to this? <sighs> the blame and the pleasure belong solely to me. A fine wizard I was, and a fine jester too, imprisoned for one night after a delightful rash. Rash! A debauchery. A debauchery. The spirit of the <laughs> prankster had always dwelled in me. The game laid before you is born of jest, wizardry, and whis whiskey. <laughs> the voice actors, I feel like they got paid so well for this. Or just got told to like have a good time with it, you know? I assume they were paid well. But I think it's not just like, you know, I don't know. And the animals, like asking the animals is like low key, like 40% of the game. Because like, that is just like something that somebody could go through the entire game not doing. But there's like all this voice acting and all this funny stuff with the animals. Go on, ask your riddles. Then we begin. We ball and I'm not I even fly, saving. But not through the sky. I say goodbye at night and hello in the morning. I am part of you and follow where shadow. you go. It's a shadow. I wear yes, only black it's a shadow. And run from the light, yet without it, I couldn't exist. Who am I? I am not good at these at all, but I, uh, I usually have to wait till the multiple choice comes up. Um, but definitely a shadow. Very good. Your freedom is now. I'm surprised at myself. And now, the second riddle. I am beaten and battered, but never break. My crown has felt the strike of endless blades, yet I can never move. I never sweat, even when the summertide sun shines upon me. Hang on, I'm thinking. Who am I? I'm covering my eyes, so I can't see the answers. Um, hit? on the crown but never move is it like a practice dummy what was the first part um oh what was the first part i can't remember maybe a practice dummy it's not a king an anvil i would can i see yes oh good uh, beaten and battered, but never break. My crown has felt the strike of endless blade, yet I can never move. I never sweat. So it's not a king, obviously. A uh, shield is potentially, or an an I'm, I feel like I like anvil. Shield or an anvil. Shields do break. Anvils don't really break, and shields do move, so I will go with an anvil. An anvil indeed, you make me most proud. I kind of want to stay here. It is time to depart. Are you ready, madam? Can I actually just hang out for a second? Not yet. I need to pick up my stuff. I mean, I could just... Kethrick's netherstone is just... So I could just leave right now. But I don't have my gear, which is very upsetting. Yeah, I 
Oh, and they didn't, this is dumb. This is actually dumb that they didn't take this from me. Uh, that's, that's a big plot. Okay. The True Life of Lord Gortash. Read. A biography. Add section about the steel watch with info acquired from interviewing that Gandhi who escaped the foundry. Something about how watchers are Gortash's most powerful defenders, but also his greatest mobility, since they're all controlled from one central nexus. So do we like him or not? Enver Flim, an orphan among urchins, struggle for survival in the streets, juvenile felonies, the rap sheet, gang years, same face, Flint, Gortash, uh, Gates, Posh, Kingpin, and independent entrepreneur, rivals, all our rivals are dead, muscling in our arms, smuggling, so this is not a, a fan. He's trying to expose, which would make sense why he's in here, right? He's trying to expose him. The Zen's day is past. Oh, the usual slavers. The back, oh, black hand of Bane shakes the bloody hand of Ball. Not even, not even everything is enough. An absolute ingenious plan. The graph test of Thorm. Decapitating the Gandhian hierarchy. Call me Lord Gortash. I am going to take that. I know it won't help. Oh, they're talking about the the, the woman, the Duke. So these guys aren't absolutist fans, apparently. Who else is in here? Otto. I wonder if I could get if I took the disguise spell off of Will. But no, people don't seem to like, like, they don't seem to be liking him, although I don't know if I trust that woman at the gate. She's probably in the pockets of the absolute, yeah, that's my stuff. Who in here? Hello? Uh, man, I wish I had Halson. He's really good for breaking out of prisons. Uh, I don't want to kill the fist. I no wonder if I could will ever believe talk? This guard would prefer you serve your time in silent contemplation. Yeah, uh, okay. Hmm. Subjugate the undead. I could raise this skeleton. Not that I think it'll do me much. I could try to pick the gate and be invisible. What's the story? Oh, God, she has nothing. Salutations. Oh. <laughs> Sharp as ever. We have nobody here who's good at sneaking. Okay, okay, never mind. Invisibility, it lasts for two turns. They cannot attack you. I could potentially distract them with that. Oh. Kibby cat? Oh baby, can we... Oh. I was hoping we could summon it out here. Gosh darn it. I do think it would be good to have a cat. For potential distraction. Um... <laughs> I think Gale is our best dexterity. No, Minster's not around. Yeah. So might as well. Oh boy, can we put us all together? At least things have stayed interesting. Kid. Do I, I thought that was me for a second. What to do? Do I? I do have the darkness spell. I'm not. I'm not. Um, quick saving this wee ball. Um. I want this to cover us attempting One to unlock believe. the gate. I don't think this is strictly legal. It's not, darling. Oh, baby. Okay, so we're lock picking. We open it and we send the pride of your the boy gate. stealthing through. Toning things down. Oh wait, oh uh, dang it. I did want to give him, dang it, I wanted to give him that one also. So he's gonna need to stay in the darkness and the kitty will need to come out and 
dash dash away over here. Maybe here. I know I need okay, I need to keep the darkness spell up. She can't do anything. He did his job. I might have him close the gate though. Actually, yes. Okay. Can he just... Is the is it darkness just close enough? Oh! The dead rat won't go? Oh, she does have... Okay, she has everything. Unfortunate. Um, why is the dead rat not... It's still alive! It's a... Oh! What? Yeah, it's... <laughs> it is dead. So you can have the dead rat. Maybe I can talk to the dead rat? I don't think you can do that. Um. Whoa. Let's see. Oh, the woman. Oh, no. Okay, they're not talking about the duke. They're talking about the woman who is... Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... Oh, but he can't... Oh, shoot. Take an action. Who's in here? <gasps> sure, why not? It's the counselor woman. She's in there. Who's in here? Shoot. I have so many things. Okay, I just spent so much time trying to unencumber myself. I sent a bunch of stuff, actually, to to camp because I'm just like I don't know like so but I do think I got uh I got everybody back their weapons even if they can't equip them yet and I can't equip my ranged one yet okay ooh as one does let's see the dark one's own luck Wait, no, 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 no. If we're gonna do that, we're gonna do it to this one. Can we... Yes. Safer to be. He's too far gone. Oh, is his dad? Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh-oh. All right. What now? She's not gonna recognize him in there, but I, because I made him teleport, he did become uh, visible. Okay, that guy is kind of on his way back. I am gonna have him remove his disguised self so that he can talk to her. You're too late, Will. It's over. What? I don't understand. What do you mean? I came seeking allies to our cause. Watchers spotted me. Dragged me to Alder's Husk. Empty as a... The guard prepares to attack. Oh! Fugitives are to be killed on sight. Gosh dang it. Uh, I didn't realize he could see. I guess the, the time thing went out. Gosh dang it. I handled that really poorly. Let's see where. Oof, that's so far back. Uh, I try to be sneaky, but I never I never quite do it right. I think I heard the sound go off. For the, co the conversation, you can't do it in timed mode, which does make sense, I guess, but... Eesh. Um... The problem is that I'm upset about is that I, I wouldn't mind knocking these people out, um, but... The issue comes from... 
Where's the word? Um, we got the conversation interrupted. So I think I might do what I don't want to do generally anymore, which is reload here real quick. Also, I'm not going to wait. I guess it's, the reloading wouldn't be bad because then I wouldn't be wasting my disguise kits. Um, yeah. Because if they're just going to see me anyway, it seems kind of pointless to use a disguise kit. I think that's one of the big things that I've had issues with and that others have had issues with in this game is, for one thing, the passive knockout feature doesn't work how passive knockout feature should. And the disguise kits don't work how disguise kits should work. Or polymorph. Like, none of it works the way it really should. Um, like, the way it would in an actual D&D game, right? Where, like, you could choose what you look like, and, like, it could get you through. Like, you'd have to make some pretty convincing deception rolls, potentially, but, like... I don't know, I rolled well on that whole thing, and then, like, and then they're like, oh, we can still see you, and it's like, oh, okay, you know, like, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I might go back, because I was doing so well with the darkness and stuff, but ta uh, triggering, maybe I shouldn't have triggered the conversation, oh my gosh, you guys, and I went through that whole thing, like, disseminating all the freaking heavy things in my inventory. Oh, that's going to be hell on wheels if I do that again. Um, anyway, I'll go ahead and call it here. I'm not sure how long this episode is going to be because this was probably two into one, but um, yeah, I'll decide what I'm going to do for the next one, whether or not we just knock everybody out in here or try to be stealthy about it. I'll figure it out. So thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. First, I want to give a shout out to my Acorn Tier patron. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patron, Risco Lido. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has truly gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel. And I truly cannot thank you all enough. Um, so thank you all again. And I will see you in the next one.